75 years ago, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that proclaimed that everyone is born free and equal in dignity and rights, no matter their identity, beliefs or circumstances. The Declaration represents the understanding in the wake of the horrors of the Second World War that lasting peace and well-being of people can only be secured on the basis of its values. With unfolding events in Ukraine, Israel and Palestine, this seems truer than ever. This milestone document is the cornerstone of our current international human rights architecture and provides a guiding light for our work still today, not least when we see new human rights challenges rise. We must defend gains made towards gender equality and sexual and reproductive health and rights. We must stand up for democracy and the freedom of opinion and expression. We must work together to secure the universal human rights of all people. Together, we must respond to our greatest generational challenge with concrete action to the threat climate change is to the enjoyment of human rights globally. My government has taken a firm stance on this issue and one of our priorities is to make Iceland a leader in combating climate change. On the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Iceland pledges to play its part to further the realization of the universality of human rights. First, Iceland will make further progress towards institutionalizing the promotion and respect for human rights by establishing a strong, independent and effective national human rights institution in full accordance with the Paris principles within the next year. Second, Iceland will develop a strong and comprehensive national action plan on human rights. Third, Iceland will ratify the optional protocol to the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and the third optional protocol to the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Fourth, Iceland will more than double its predictable core contribution to the UN Human Rights Office for the period 2024 until 2028. In conclusion, advancing the dignity and equality of all human beings and to leave no one behind must be our goal today and for our future. Thank you.